Well, I'm usually pretty computer savvy. Um, I've been dealing with computers for a long time, uh, and have actually uh, have actually in the past uh, been a technician. So it surprises me when I can't get something to work correctly. Sometimes this is my second attempt at this video, and uh, oh well, I'm Nightwing DM uh, Phil. Uh, this video is about using props in the game, specifically music, uh, though uh, a physical prop inside the game can really help uh, bolster that role play. The music uh, aspect of it can really add a lot to the cinematic aspect of the game. And what I mean by cinematic aspect, we're primarily a role playing group and uh, most of us are face to face. We have one individual that plays over Uvu with us because of the fact that he lives in Florida. Now, he was an original member of the gaming group from 19 years ago that actually sat at the table. But uh, yeah, he got a better job and had to move, so and we didn't want to leave him excluded. So we brought him in on Uvu, and it's actually worked out really, really well. Better than I, I, I anticipated. Far exceeded my expectations. Um, it, we're actually able to really get in some good role-playing sessions uh, with, with him on camera. But anyway, um, just like a good movie, music can make or break the movie. Music, the right music put in the right situation can really uh, add to the effect. So what I will do, and I, I tend to have a knack for being able to put the right music in the right situation. Now, obviously, I do the, all this beforehand, before game. Uh, I prepare a script of what I'm going to read, and uh, and then uh, you know find the music to, to to fit it. Normally, it's the other way around. I will listen to the music. The scene will will unfold in my head, and then I'll, then I'll write the script to it. Uh, for me, that's the best way to do it. That's my creative process for that aspect of it. And it gives me the ability to give the players the option or the ability to have a cinematic scene unfold in their mind as to what I, what's going on as far as the description goes. Now, I don't use music for every little thing in the, uh, in the game. Um, I was watching Tower Guard DM's... Uh, video on uh, what's it called um, system theory and applying that to your game where he talks about the uh, macro meso and uh, micro aspects to uh, my micro aspects of the of the uh, stratasis um, so you know in that regard if you guys have seen any of his videos I, uh, I, I it, this is more of a macro um, use of of music um, I usually use it for bigger events sometimes if the uh, mood is right I will put in some uh, ambient ambient music in the background just to kind of play along uh, but uh, it really is something that adds a lot to the game we started doing it in the early 90s when I was playing um, cassette tapes would uh, find the uh, the mark of where I wanted the music to start have it ready when I played uh, of course, as, as technology's gotten better, um, the music's more ready, read, readily available uh, for purchase, and you can actually take it and mark it wherever you want, have it start when you want, or what have you. So it's great. Uh, background noise can kind of go along with this. You know, if they enter a city, you can play a little bit of a background noise. You can see the speakers up behind me uh, in my room. I actually have a surround sound system in, in my room where, uh, where, I, where I play. Uh, and it, it adds a lot to it. Um, but, you know, if it's not something you're using and, you, and your group is a role play group, look into it. Uh, see if it might help. Now, mind you, again, the wrong music will just completely blow the mood and the atmosphere. So just make sure that you're, you're, uh, you're, you're picking good stuff. And that's going to be subjective, a matter of opinion as to what's good and what's not. You know, you may like something, I might not. Uh, but anyway, that's my thoughts on that aspect of it. As always, you can leave a comment for me. Uh, constructive criticism is welcome. Uh, and uh, if there's anything you would like me to talk about or any questions you might, ha might ask, I, I do have about 34 years of experience in Dungeons & Dragons as a DM and as a player. Um, 
uh, throw a question my way. Uh, who knows? I might be able to help you out. Anyway, this is uh, Nightwing DM signing off. You guys have a great night, and I will see you probably tomorrow. Bye.